Some people listen to Bob Marley, some people listen to Post Malone, or some people can't go a day without listening to George Strait. There, I've spent countless hours researching um, all genres of music, and my dad's actually from Northern California, a town called Grass Valley, which is close to music history. And a lot of famous artists would come through that town, so I consider him knowledgeable on the topic, and he's taught me everything he knows. I also studied music theory and history for a couple of years, and I've spent most of my free time on the app Spotify, creating new playlists or looking for new musicians as well. So I'm excited to share this topic of what makes music good. But many of you may think that music is music taste is completely subjective or that it's totally your preference or opinion. My goal is for you to become more informed about what good music is and why it is meaningful for you to know. Music is a big part of our life and we hear it in the grocery store, background music is on, you know, in the car, on the radio or in movies or by choice, if we're lucky to get the aux cord with our friends in the car, we blast our favorite, our favorite songs. Listening to good music will improve your life. It comes down to your purpose for listening and in this case, it is to live a more meaningful and happy life. So today we're going to break down what makes music good and why we should listen to it. We also discuss outward influences that affect our taste. So let's begin with the mechanics of what makes music good. Too many people do not know what good music is or that it even exists. And so I thought of the question why that is. Is it just because they don't know or understand? People may just follow the trends. They see what's on the radio and convince themselves that it is enjoyable since everyone else is listening to it. And for example, if people actually listened to and understood the lyrics that a lot of the songs on the radio or a lot of the popular songs express or imply, I can guarantee a lot, there would be a lot less followers of those kinds of songs and artists because the morals and messages behind popular music today is terrible. I've broken down a lot of songs and it's just something that you know you wouldn't listen to by choice if you knew what it actually meant. But some may say, but the beat is good, it's so worth it. And I can tell you that the damaging effects it actually does to you is not worth it at all. Scientists have proven that specific types of music can improve our intelligence and mood and so why wouldn't why wouldn't it do the opposite thing if we're listening to worse music from be brain fit it states quote music can improve mood increase intelligence enhance learning and concentration and ward off the effects of brain aging end quote so i ask you to consider how harmful music would do just the opposite and why not have those more beneficial side effects from good music also. But we'll dig deeper into the harmful ways as well. But it's important to recognize these things because it's, again, a big part of our life. The extent of this problem of not knowing what makes music good comes from ignorance, trends in media, like we went over, and which activities you participate in while listening, or out for outward influences such as friends and family. Quote, one 2008 study out of Harriet Watt University that profiled the personalities of different music fans found that classical listeners had high self-esteem and were creative, introverted, and at ease. Interestingly, this closely matched the profile of jazz fans with the exception that jazz lovers tended to be extroverts. Like classical fans, people who rated opera highly had high self-esteem and were creative, but also gentle. Those three descriptions matched the personality types of participants who rates blues highly, except blues fans who are also found outgoing and at ease, end quote. And that is from Professor O'Bannon from that um, Harriet Watt University. But those are just some great qualities that are that they found in those fans that listen to jazz music. But next I'll explain how the people in your life can influence your music taste. I've seen this happen in so many homes. Oftentimes you listen to what your friends listen to or your parents, and I'm even guilty of a little bit of that because I have the influence of my 
dad, but it's neither good nor bad unless they're the songs are that provoke violence. So, um, I have seen examples of how rap music has created aggressive people that can get into trouble. And there's actually a study that NPR released from the Pacific Institute for Research and Evaluation in Berkeley, California. And it states, well, it suggests young people who listen to rap and hip hop are more likely to abuse alcohol and commit violent acts. The article states, quote, there's no question rap music is a powerful influence. Marketers have shown a correlation to the release of these tunes and increased sales of alcohol beverages mentioned in these songs, end quote. They mention, again, like alcohol and those types of things, they're promoting this type of these types of actions and they degrade women in a lot of songs and even men in some rap songs as well and they definitely damage our generation and youth that then turn into adults and our whole society is affected from this as we pr promote these popular genres and artists so it's all about listening to the right music and I mean that there is right music. There's good music out there. Mickey Willis comments, quote, there is precedence for this nature. Some smells, for example, almost universally are considered bad and others good. And while the middle ground may be occupied by an array of differences that allow for preferences and disagreement, there still seem to be tendencies for widespread agreement in such things, end quote. So that quote is just talking about like there is some wiggle room for um good music for example cultures there are some cultures that value certain types of music rather than others so in that case there are preferences but i'm talking about just universally what makes good music good and how do we know what makes this music good and beneficial i've created this checklist from some um, resources that you can go through as you're listening to music so um, I would start with, does it exploit a variety of elements of music? Examples of rhythm, harmony, melody, and texture. Is the chief attraction not the music, but the words? If the answer is yes, then the piece is probably more considered poetry um, or a theater piece rather than music because music combines both the lyrics and the sound. That's the whole point of it. Does the piece appeal on a variety of levels, intellectual, spiritual, and emotional? Because this is more of a spectrum rather than simply good or bad too, because it can appeal to one of them or all three, which if they appeal to all three, then it's probably on the higher spectrum of what makes music good. As humans, we expect a lot of development and completion in life. We like to have things finished and we like to see progression and development. So you can look for formal organization in that way. Is there a good balance between variety and some similarity? Is it too repetitive and not very creative? Then it'd be lower on the spectrum. Do you feel positively stimulated, better, richer, fuller, improved in some way for having heard the piece? And that's the checklist that you can go through. And the whole point of my speech is to help you realize that there is a way that you can have a more fulfilling, meaningful life. And music is a great way to do that. So why listen to good music besides having that beneficial life? If you listen to better music, you're improving others around you as well. Your future children will thank you. I know I thank my dad every day for helping me realize what actual uplifting music is. And I, I'm glad I didn't fall into the trends of what's popular and what's actually harmful but there's hope for everyone you can start today to listen to better music um knowing that you're like going to likely remember the next song you listen to that may change your perception of what you do listen to have you ever had a song come to your mind from elementary school or junior high or even when you were a little kid you songs just can get stuck in our head so that's something you can go back to to let music be your cheerleader by picking songs with positive lyrics. Um, music has a purpose and that any music, any music that fails to reach that goal 
is bad and any music that succeeds is good. So the whole purpose is to achieve the goal of living that fulfilling life. Um, you can start um, implementing what you've learned by creating a playlist of research music. Try it out and listen to good songs and see how that may change your mood throughout the day or what lyrics stick in your mind. And then share with people you know and talk about it. There's a, there's a club my family goes to called the Live Collective Club where you just sit and listen to music for an hour. There's a video up and there's lyrics and then we discuss what we, how we felt during the piece or what was impactful for us or how it's influenced us. And some bands that have been played include Fleetwood Mac, The Beatles, The Smiths, The Cure, Greta Van Fleet, Adele, Elton John, Taylor Swift, Red Hot Chili Peppers, etc. But I want you all to feel that same joy that I've felt and that people in experiments have felt and how impactful it's been. Life is to be enjoyed and I remember watching like my favorite movies and how there's music in the background and how it's prompted and inspired me to do better things with my life. As we can clearly see, there's a such thing as good music and it's in your best interest to treat your ears with more of it. It just takes small changes to begin listening, such as creating the playlist, following artists that are uplifting and, or volunteer to use the aux cord in your friend's car to help them out with better music as well. There will be no more Kanye West, Drake, or 2 Chains, but more Neil Young, Jack Johnson, or Fleetwood Mac. After all, we are what we listen to. <laughs>